So I'm going to be trying something new with this video. It's kind of a spin-off of something I tried to do last year with a monthly update showing how much I could grow in one year, but then it kind of all fell apart and uh, I never got it done past March. In order to make this work this year, what I thought I would do is bring you guys into my grow room every month just to kind of show you what's going on and how things are progressing. For this first video, things are not how I would like them to be. Not because things aren't growing well, but because honestly I'm not growing very much right now. Things are a bit chaotic in the grow room right now because I'm getting ready to start renovating things so I don't have as much growing as I would like, but that will be rectified very soon and you guys will get to see month over month how everything is progressing. It'll be a bit of a teaser for some of the things I have planned, especially for experiments that I may be trying. I I'm planning to do lots of those this year. So if you guys have any things you want to know or for me to test out, let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys like this kind of video, I'm assuming it's going to end up being a little bit more vloggy. Let me know. Give it a thumbs up if you like this style. I'll still be doing my normal style of the how to's and everything, but I do want to kind of smatter this in once a month to keep you guys updated on what's going on in here. So with that said, let us turn the camera around and see the chaos that is my current grow room. There we have the personal rise garden in pieces because I was cleaning that up. Over here we have the big rise garden which I've just finished cleaning but I have to retube the entire thing so I'm going to be doing that. I've saved all my little nozzles and cleaned those. Here I have some things I'm going to be growing. We have the mini munch cucumber. I'm going to start up another dwarf moringa. I'm going to start this in here but then transfer it out. We have this gorgeous Napa cabbage that's purple. I'm going to use that to make some purple kimchi. My favorite bikino peppers. I'm going to try getting some lavender started in here. The little tiny pixie cabbage, which I love going to try some watermelons because why not have some coffee that I want to try some tiny apple cabbage as well these are some I don't know what I was thinking when I bought these but I got some dwarf tamarillo haven't had any success growing this so I'm going to try it hydroponically then we have the naranjilla same thing basil because I love basil oh look more basil and more basil. One thing I find is that hydroponic basil grows so much bigger and the lettuce leaf basil is already like a huge leaf. So I can't wait to see how big it grows hydroponically because I haven't tried that one in here yet. And lastly, in here we have some shishito peppers. I did buy some new ones, but I'm gonna try some of these. I wanna do blistered shishito peppers and Fresno peppers. I have such trouble trying to find these over here, so super excited to try them. Put all those guys back in here, and that is some of the stuff that I will be growing. Have the air garden sprout all cleaned up again, and that will be getting planted very soon. Down there we have <laughs> bottom of the personal rise garden that I am getting all cleaned up. Some of my stickers, which are in my Etsy shop. I'm gonna be doing some hydroponic ones soon. And then down there we have the Aero Garden Bounty Elite. So I'll do an unboxing video and we'll look at what's in there and getting it all set up. But then I will also be using it for some experiments, comparing it to. Over here, I got a gorgeous navy click and grow nine. I also have an arrow garden slim. And then up here, the big boy, the click and grow 25. I also have the lion's mane mushroom. I'm gonna try growing some mushroom kits this year, but I've wanted to try lion's mane. It's supposed to taste like lobster or something. If you tried it, let me know down in the comments below. Over here, I have three giant trays of all the things I will be planting in my outdoor garden. And this is me pairing it. It down. What else do we have? We have over there, so I have two of my little dragon fruits on the shelf, and then I have two Blinken, there's no water in them, my air garden sprouts. I'm going to be doing some comparison videos in those as well. Over here we have my lep pot with some micro tomatoes growing in it. This is for an upcoming video on different varieties of micro tomatoes. I'm kind of showing how they grow. The flowers on the tomato plants are self-pollinating. The male and female pieces are in the same flowers, so they can just pollinate on their own, and they will if you don't do anything. But if you want to increase your pollination, it is good to have a fan for other reasons as well. But you can also come and just give them a gentle shake each day when the flowers are there. There are also different pollinators that you can get. Aero Garden makes one or you can use an electric toothbrush. It's up to you. Just a very gentle shake is enough 
to help them along. These guys are just over a month in. Already some interesting things I'm noticing with the different varieties. We also have down here, I am so excited, I got a glass whiteboard that I still need to mount. That is gonna go up on this wall here and then I can move the camera over, we can talk about different things and I can demonstrate it there for you guys. Next to the whiteboard is the Arrow Garden Farm that is not running because I am getting rid of that. This is where the Rise Garden, so this big boy used to be over here and I've already started ripping out the carpet because I'm gonna be putting down a new floor. This is going to be getting painted a beautiful olive color. And then I'm gonna be moving my desk over there so that all of this chaos down here will be out of the way. And then I'll have better places to be able to film because this tripod takes up a lot of space. Hoping to have this all organized and looking fantastic very soon and getting this guy all planted up. If you guys have anything you've wanted to know, can you grow it in your rise garden? Let me know. I'm more than happy to include it in some of the things I'm growing to test anything out. I love doing experiments. That's one of the best ways to learn is just to try it out and see what's going on. I have a bunch of other things I'm going to be planting up here in the rice garden along with those ones I mentioned down there. We'll be doing some peppermint because that one is a disaster if you plant it outside. Some of the sweet Thai basil. We've got purple basil. A bit of a basil thing here. We got some of the blue lavender. Some parsley. What else? Holy basil. We got some Santo cilantro. What's this one? Some jalapenos. We have some summertime. Some dill. Uh, these are some new ones I got. Heartbreaker tomatoes. So they're another micro tomato. Some rosemary. What else do we have? Ooh, I was super excited. I got this, these two together. So this is the gochujang pepper. I'm super stoked for that. We also have some lemongrass. I find it grows really well in here. I'm gonna start some of that in here and transplant some outside and keep some indoors. But yeah, so this is some of the stuff that I'm gonna be growing, trying to get to the point where I don't even have to go to the store to get herbs. One of the things I'm going to be using the Click and Grow 25 for is to be able to grow all of the lettuce that I need and never buy any. This is a new thing I'm playing around with. It's a steamer I got, really, really liking that for doing some of the cleaning. So I'll wash out all of my systems and then I go over it with the steamer just in case there's any little nasties lurking around. And I find that it's good sometimes if there's some stuff that's a little bit harder to clean. So I'm liking that as well. So I'm not gonna lie, it is definitely feeling overwhelming right now. But it was getting to the point where I'm not even really enjoying it because the room is so chaotic. Just need to reset, get it all organized, get it so it's easier to film in here so I can make more videos for you guys. And I just thought it'd be nice to kind of bring you guys along with me month over month. It's also an opportunity if you guys want to know something, if you want to see something, let me know down in the comments and I'll try and incorporate that into the next video, which hopefully is helpful to you guys. So let me know if this is a format that you like. If not, I'll do something else. Hopefully it resonates with you guys and I will be doing this once a month. And if you want to know why I'm getting rid of my Arrow Garden Farm, you can check out this video over here.